Hello and welcome back to another First Hour Impressions. It's a marathon today, so we are going to be doing quite a few. And first up, Carto. Um, I, I know I know very little about Carto, uh, other than it's got a pretty interesting mechanic, apparently. Um, and I'm assuming it's to do with maps. Uh, I think it was a mobile phone game. Oh, well, we'll get straight into it. I have turned the music down, so we'll go into the settings in a second. I haven't changed the brightness uh, or the music... V oh, I think these are the three that I've changed. Music volume, sound effects, ambient music. I don't think there's any voice. I kept the master at the, you know, full. Uh, because I just wanted to be able to control those three individually. Uh, Controls-wise, I'm sure we'll learn. But there they are. And, yeah, go back. So, uh, let's play... New game, and I will press play on my timer as soon as I gain control. War. Alright, what we got going? Hmm. I quite like the art style. Simple animation. What's going on? We're in an air airship. Cool. What? Okay, so we're gods. <laughs> Hang on, is the grandma a god? Uh -uh. Oh no, we can control the weather as well. No. Okay. Oh, hang on, so all the map pieces are going to be all over the island. Yeah. Alright. I'm guessing I gain control. Hey, gain control. Alright. So, I can't walk off the island, or well, the land. X, square, triangle, circle, do nothing. L, R, uh... Left trigger, right trigger. Huh, okay. Just gotta. It's got a couple of like. Mm, it's almost a, like a 3D. Yeah, see? It's like. Oh, they're hills? They're hills. It's like a 2D, 3D sort of like look. Oh, hello. Triangle for map. Welcome, explorer. This world is yours to change. You can move any piece of the map. Ooh, okay. And rotate pieces as needed. So L1 and R1 is okay. You can connect pieces with the same type of border. All right, gotcha. Uh, shaded pieces of the map are lands you haven't explored yet. Go check them out. So what are we supposed to do? That, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. Uh, triangle, explore. Okay, what we got? You have found a new piece of the map. Uh, connect new pieces of the existing map to reveal more of the world. Uh, the pieces of the map have been scattered everywhere. The more you find, the bigger your world will grow. Okay, so what are we supposed to do here? New pieces? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So am I supposed to... <laughs> what? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I come back down here... All I need to do is explore that piece of the map. I don't need to... Do anything with it. So that will do. Then I'll do. For now, anyway. Oh, fisherman. Fisher person. Ahoy there, little one. <laughs> we don't get new visitors around here very often. Are you fam? Are your family with you? No. <clears throat> I see. Well, no matter. All are welcome here. And your timing is fortunate. For today, we celebrate the coming of age of my dearest niece, Sheen. 
Oh no, we've got names I can't pronounce. <laughs> yes, it's very exciting. Why do I always choose these games? Um, it was so dis uh, I was so distracted by this this morning. I forgot to, uh, but I forgot my bait. No matter, it won't be long now until the ceremony. Feel free to explore the island in the meantime, and I'll see you there. Alrighty, so I'm, I'm guessing we get bait for this particular person. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. We got a map. Of course we have. So, house. Um, X put... I can't put it down. It has to go down next to someone, so I can't... Uh, or can. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, we shall put you there. Easy said than done. Let's grab you. Thank you. I'm guessing this is the birthday boy. Who are you? Are you 15? <laughs> Mama said I have to be 15 before I can have my coming of age. If you're not 15, then how did you cross the sea? When someone turns 15, a boat arrives at the North Pier. A gift from the sea. The 15 year old has to get in the boat and leave the island forever. I want to leave forever. That's like in a month. <laughs> okay. Hi, sweetie. Where did you come from? It's exciting to meet someone new. I'm ba I've barely left the house in months. This little bundle of joy keeps me pretty busy. Did you meet my husband already? He's fishing nearby. Oh, though he's probably not catching much. That big lug left without any bait this morning. Oh, I guess we'll have to rely on the whims of the ocean, as we always have. Good thing this little ladybug likes fish. Not like that filthy little fuss pot over there. Hey! <laughs> have you visited the other families yet? Uh, Keelan and her family were the first ones to come to this island. They live on the right to this they live right on the sea Saya is my sister and daughter she lives off in the forest with her family her daughter Shane is coming of age it's today can't believe it's here already all right so north I'm guessing is the sea and right is the no one's inside um all right let's get this map out so what have we got here this is by the sea and it can I speak Oh, the trees just... Trees. The trees stay north. Uh, facing north. That's funny. Um, how am I going to do this? Right, let's just put you there for a second. What? what? I can't. I'm guessing I can put that there. Yeah, let's just try that. So I want to see if I can meet someone on the southeast of the. An unremarkable pile of dirt. Okay. Unremarkable. Um, map out. I mean, I could. Let's have a look. It's just a big... F oh, it's a forest to the north, isn't it? That's what we're going to find. Oh, hello. We got someone. So I'm guessing no matter where you put these things, they're going to come up with different people or things inside them, if it's north, east, south or west or on the coast or whatever. Oh, no. You don't look familiar. I really must be lost. I know it's a small island, but I always get distracted on the way home. The ocean is just so beautiful. Full of mermaids. Full of mermaids, really? This is a bit embarrassing, but... Can I trouble you to help me home? You seem to know your way around. My house is east of the one on the grassland along the sea. Now, if I only could figure out which way is east. Um, Hello, what's this? Um, if the house is east, 
Let's put you there for a second. Why can't I put you there? Oh, because the other one's in there. Right, okay. So, uh, rubbish. I can't put that on there because I can't. Um, I'm just... Oh, no. oh, hang on. So I can move these just anywhere over here? Okay. So I can just move them out of the way. Right. Um, can I move this out of the way as well? Cool. Can I cheat? No, because that house is there. Let's just move you out here a second. Okay, bring this person close. Alright, let's just have a look. An unremarkable pile of dirt, of course. Hang on, so your house is... I think I live east of the house on the grassland. Can you take me there? Maybe this house does need to go here. Let's put you there for a second. Um, east of the house of the grassland. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh. Still thinking this is not going to work. However, let's just make this a bit more coherent, shall we? Um. Still gonna be on a remarkable pile of dirt. I'm also thinking if there's a forest to the north, maybe I should make a forest in the north. I don't even know why I'm doing that. <laughs> making um, <laughs> making a forest to the east. Let's have a quick word with her again. Let's see what she says. Say, hey, sweetie. Uh, just follow the coastline and you'll run into some friendly faces. Okay. Do, 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 do. This will be the forest in the north. Um... Check the forest first. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't appear then. Still on a remarkable pile of dirt. He's now in the south. Uh, have a look around the island. I am having a look around the island. Am I stuck already? No, can't be. We're going to figure this out. Do, 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 do. Say that one. I want my boat to be a lobster with enormous claws. <laughs> For nothing else. Oh, hello. A jar. A salty snack of minnows. Trying in the sun. I think I live east of the house on the grassland. Could you take me there? Oh! I've am an idiot. Alright, stand here. Clever. No. <laughs> oh. Where was the fisherman again? There we go. Got you home. Yes, yes, this looks familiar. That's my house. And that lady must be my wife. <laughs> wow, what a look. 
Thank you for your help, sweet child. Hello there. Thank you for helping my husband home. I love him. But he forget his nose if it wasn't attached to his face. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you from another tribe? I'm sorry, I'm just tickled by that. Uh, <laughs> what, are your what are your traditions? Our people are pioneers of the sea. Once we set sail, we settle on the first island that we find. We feel so lucky that it was this one. We just love it here. Have you met Shannon yet? She's very special to us. It'll be hard to say goodbye. But we're excited for her. Hmm. I'm sure she'd like to meet you if you get the chance. Okay, so what's the new piece of map I've got here then? New bit of forest? Looks like it. Looks like we've got a big forest coming up. Oh no, wrong button. So let's move you over here. And you over here for a second. And then we'll get you. I'm assuming that can work. Um, um. Let's put you there anyway. Put you there. Because why not? Are you looking for Shannon? She lives in a forest way bigger than this one. Ugh. I need a bigger forest! Um. That means... Hang on, these are the only two pieces I've got. Be a situation of like it's gonna be this big, like huge. Let's go help the fish ship person. Where is he? He's probably up to the right, isn't he? Mm. I got a run button. No. Alright, what is it you want then? <sighs> Nothing. Look, look for the biggest forest. An unremarkable pile of dirt. What is that supposed to mean? Hang on. Minnows, right, I got it. Husband needs to go literally next door, so. Here? Mm. How can you be closer? Hang on. Does, it, does that change her position or does that change... Now she's... But this doesn't change. Okay. And he's back to being... Over, oh, hello. What are these? How did I get them? Bigger forests. Um, let's 
move you up here. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Uh... Well, we made it. Let's see what it's got to do. See what it's got to do? What a sentence is that? Oh no, that go! Ahem. Can I help you, kid? This is private property, you know. Sorry, it's been a tough few days with Shannon. You're really very welcome here. Um, something tells me I'm gonna. Oh, hang on. It is said that this animal dwelled in our ancestors' islands. The bear? I've heard it's called a black bear or a blair for short. <laughs> it's hard to believe there are animals that big. I would love to see one. Okie dokie. I shall grant your wish. A seashell necklace. Inside of the glowing shells you find a piece of the map. Oy. Oh, right, so we can find pieces of the map over. Sigh. Shannon keeps saying that she'll return after she sets sail. But that's not our way. It's not the will of the sea. Once our people set sail, they must never return to their origin. It's tradition. I know, dear. That girl really boils my blood sometimes. But she always gets things, gets to done things out of the yeah. <laughs> but she's always done things her own way. I wonder where she gets it from. <laughs> I'm sure this is hard for her too. We just have to try and enjoy our time to get left together. That sounds a bit sad. Shannon probably went to the, the lake to be alone. Can you please check on her young one? You seem like a good listener. Uh, okay. A bubbling pot of seafood stew. Some of you exquisite clay pots. And a plant. Don't those leaves smell heavily? That plant sailed across the sea ocean with me. Uh, so we need to go and find the daughter and the lake. So I'm guessing the lake is this one. Let's be there for now. Okie dokie. Oh, hang on. There we go. Found you. <sighs> I'm just not ready to leave. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back and miss visit them after all I set sail? Our people have had that tradition for so long. I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because it's what we've always done. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just upset. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Who might you be? Dot dot dot. Ah. No need to be nervous. I'm Shannon. Welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever though. The coming of age ceremony is today. I guess part of me is excited, but I'm scared that I'll be lonely out there. It might take me a while to make new friends. And adventures are always fun with someone else. Um... I know I just met you, but would you maybe want to come with me? You look like you'd be a good friend. Wow, really? This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to tell my parents. What about your family? Do you need to tell them too? Hmm, emoji smell. Hmm. Well, then we'll just have to go find them. Oh, there's one last thing I need to do before we set sail. Maybe you can help me? I always wanted to have my home close by, so I need a good handful of soil to bring it with us. Just need a bit more time to say goodbye to the island. Can you please find some soil for me? You can find the best soil where the forests and the coastline and the grasslands meet. When you find it, you please put some in this bag for me. Thank you! Cool, we got items. A small, empty bag. Right, well, we know where that is. Because that was where we were getting confused earlier on. So... Let's just move you over here a second. Oh, hang on. Over here. Goodbye, leg. And... Oh, 
<laughs> when I say we know where it is, I don't know where it is. Alright. It was this one. It was this one up here. Bonza. Oh no, I'm all the way down there. <laughs> what a what a woolly. Uh, that'll do. Boom, better thing. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Hey, y'all, love. Did you find me some soil? This soil looks great. Thanks. And there's a strange scrap of paper buried in it. Whee! Oh, do you want it? All yours. I think that was the last thing I needed. Oh, I'm ready to set sail. The high seas will, seas will be no match for us. Shannon and Carto. Shannon and Carto. Woohoo! If you want to get ready, I'll meet you at the North Pier for my ceremony. North Pier. Alright. So if you're... North Pier is going to be the North. Should we make a big long fat for it? I still haven't met going down to that bottom part there. Two seconds. See ya. Going south. And there's no purpose for that at all. Um... You there for now, so the boat is there. Oh, looks like she's gone. There we go. Wait, what? May I speak with you, my child? Oh, right, me. Ahem. May I ask you a favour? Please take this memento with you. And if you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him. Give it to him? Is that a question mark at the end? Uh, the odds are low, but I'll take any uh, any chance to get... Uh, I get to send him our love. So what have I got? No map. But I've got memento. Okay. Hi, Carter. Can't believe the boat really came. I guess I'm ready to go. What about you? Um. Yeah, go on. Then. Whew, let's get this ceremony started. Is this the end of the game? No, it can't be. Is this the tutorial? I've only been playing for like less than half an hour. My dearest, a party gift for you. A necklace made from swordfish bones. <laughs> May it bring you peace and preservance. Preservance? <laughs> the emphasis. Um, and accompany you day and night. My beautiful daughter. What, Dad? Close your eyes and feel the gentle embrace of the wind. Don't know where he comes from, but you know. May you find your destiny just as we found ours. We love you, Shana. I am reading that wrongly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, never mind. Uh... I've come of age, and the world awaits. We'll be right back. What? Shannon. She's just kidding, dear. Haha, <laughs> she's so cheeky. So do the lobsters. That poodle is talking. What? Farewell. <laughs> what poodle is talking? <laughs> Farewell, everyone. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> come on, Carter. Let's ride these waves. Was I supposed to find a poodle? Or noodle? Hang on. Trophy! Set sail! So we've set sail. It's a bit, a bit dangerous, but okay. 
Phew, made it. Still can't believe you'd never been sailing before. You're a salty old sea dog out there, Ricardo. <laughs> I never know how you got us through that fog. Wink. I know tradition says that I'm supposed to settle on the first island I find, but I think I'll just do a bit more exploring. There's a whole lot of world out there. The grassland does look nice, though. How about you have a look around and I'll check out some nearby islands. We can meet back here tomorrow and I'm totally going to find that sunken city, I swear I saw it. <laughs> Alright, so we're back on our own. Alright, here we go. Do I have my... We have got no, no more items on us, but we've still got our boat carving. Alright. Mapio! Oh, hello. What's this? Sheep? Oh, it's a sheep! And this side, so the sheep on the right. Do we gotta match up the sheep with the sheep? There we go. Right, let's have a look. So they look like bushes, don't they? I wanna make sure Nope. You can go over there. Actually, no. Let's keep you joined, shall we? No, you don't join. Doesn't matter. Okie dokie. And... <sighs> Be there for now, two seconds. Oh, hang on. If these are the sheep, I have a feeling... It's going to be a kind of like a situation like this. We've got to put four of them together. Hmm. And I might well sort that out later. Do they just... Oh no, maybe not. Yeah. I think so. Well then. Shh. Keep it down. They're listening. Huh? Grow young seeds. Listen to the rhythms of the earth. And emerge from your Sylvanian slum Sylvan slumber. Burst forth from your terrestrial prison. And heed my funky beats. <laughs> heed them. <laughs> okay. Is it these plants that they're talking about? That can't be. What we got up here? Snoozy. Wah! My sheep. Have you seen my sheep? I just off for a moment. And my sheep must have wandered away. They can't get enough of those snowy flowers. <laughs> Dad says they'll taste like marshmallows. The sheep must have overheard. <laughs> Will you help me round them up? Oh, give me a map. I don't think... Oh, maybe I can. Okay, let's round up your sheep for you. So one will be here. One will be here. Probably not worked. My woolly babies. Hang on. What? You unhappy? <laughs> oh, you just fart. <laughs> yeah, you're unhappy as well. Um, you're gonna do the same. Hmm. Just curious. Now you're just growing. Okie dokie. So.
that's not worked, is it? See, they don't match. It doesn't seem like they... Hmm. Have I missed a map piece? Oh, hang on. No, you don't need one. Hmm, those fluffy jerks are ignoring you. They must be really into those flowers. They won't follow you unless you have something even more delicious. That's the most delicious... What's the most... Oh. She's a rhythm farmer. Right, let's go find it. Looks like Mo lost his sheep again. Typical. She got a grumpy face. Uh, how can you be a shepherd when counting sheep puts you right to sleep? <laughs> and now I suppose he's asked you to round them up. Well, I bet they'd follow you if you had some honey fruit. Just don't confuse the honey fruit with the red devils that, that all grow around here. With a long... We have a song about it. Bulbs of red, sweet as sugar, only has one stem. Don't confuse with the devil's steer. Oh, dev don't c confuse with the devil's steer. We're clear of them. Hang on, say that again. Bulbs of red, sweet as sugar, only has one stem. Don't confuse it with devil's steer. Clear well of them. So. Um... Oh, don't confuse it. Hang on, did I just pick up the wrong ones? She's just singing. Okie dokie. Bah. Come on. Alright, you're gonna follow. There's the other one. Seriously, where's the other one? Where'd you go? Ah, oh, is it this bottom right? Then again. Oh, seriously. There it is. What the hell? Cheeky. Bradley! <laughs> you found him. Just three more to go. Oh. What a scamp. I don't see uh, don't see Penelope anymore. Oh, she must have gone to a secret spot in the middle of the snowy flowers. Found you? And found you. Oh, Have you checked Penelope's secret spot? It's hard to see, but she's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. Yeah, I found her. Let me just grab more stuff. No, there's no more. What? What's going on here? <sighs> yes, I have. Gotta speak to the No Well this is awkward. Uh, sure, okay, ham. Oh, surrounded by snow fields and all sorts. Right, okay, yeah. I got it. So it needs to be
guessing. How do I do this? It's hard to see, but when it's surround but it's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. I'm guessing that this sheep is back then. So I've just got to find a bit of land with snow around it. something because I've only got three three grasslands <laughs> you're not gonna say anything else other than sing and this is assuming that you're back you're back and you're back cool right so is there four Have you checked Penelope's secret spot? It's hard to see, but it's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. I don't get it. <laughs> I just, I've got... I can't put a path there. Hang on. Let's just put you there for now. Is it just something that I need to just click on? in the grass. I have a feeling that you're not actually supposed to be here. And you're supposed to be on the... this area. Is the game bugging out? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, and why has my controller done that? <laughs> there it is. I accidentally pressed my TV controller. Ugh! Well, there we go. Uh, thank you. All right. Ah, it's hard to see. Hello. Cerebral, huh? Phew. All right, Penelope. You found all my sheep. Thank you so much. You're really good at finding things. Maybe you can help my dad. He's always on the hunt for new plants for his collection. Come visit our tent and we can introduce you. We live on the other side of the prairie. Just follow the road. I'll meet you there. I just need to count my sheep. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> That's tickled me. Oh god, does this mean. Does this mean all these guys are going to eat some red stuff? That would be nice. All right, let's have a look. Hello. 
My dear sweet Carto, that was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared. But my granddaughter is strong. And don't worry about me, the airship is fine. She's been through worse. The people of this land are kind. Kind of odd. Ha. <laughs> and I don't know we'll find our way back to each other soon. We don't know if we'll find our way back to each other soon. It's, and I know we will find our way back to each other soon. I'm adding words. It's in our blood. You're far from my body, but you'll never be far from my heart. Uh, make sure you gather any pieces of our map that you see. It'll help you find your way in the world. Now go get, get out there and have some fun. Love, Granny. And she's drawn a little picture of herself. Oh, self-portrait. All right. Let's find this map. And what's next? Oh. We've got more. Hang on. She's back. We map. Thank you. And we got straight roads needs. Oh, straight roads to bridge. Um, curve roads to tents. Okay. Woohoo! The class is best. <laughs> so, we're going to go find tents. Or maybe not. Every plant has its own rhythm. If you pay attention, listen. <laughs> what? You hear that? They're already growing twice as fast. Now quit interrupting me. Okie dokie. So that doesn't create what well, I thought it would create. Um... Oh. Is that... Right, okay, hang on. If she's up there singing to these plants... Can I do this? Uh, maybe I can't. to the right. Hang on, where am I? Hmm. Curve rose to tents. This is a lunar lotus. It blooms in the moonlight and burrows underground during the day. This is a bee bristle. It looks soft, but don't touch it or you'll get a nasty sting. Oh, hello there. Don't mind us. We're just in the middle of class. Are you looking for Mo? This is his usual route home. Just follow the curved roads and you'll see his tent. Sometimes he stops by the river there. You can follow the straight roads there. Oh, and please tell him that the sheep got into my cabbages again. Uh... Oh, hello. I've got straight roads. Um, half of me, half of me is wondering if this should be here for now. Oh, no. And maybe Oh, uh. cool. Let's grab you. Who's this dude? Don't interrupt my secret mission. Uh, I mean, uh, my regular normal task that I definitely can't talk about. Look. I really can't say anything, 
Just as I'm looking for the head of the river. We heard that's a special plant. We heard that a special plant appears there under right conditions. And there might be the ghost lily. That's all I can tell you. Nothing else. I have to go back to the mission. So close. Let me guess. You need a revan. Uh, two seconds. But you can't be there. Oh, it's not a path, that's why. So... Put you back here or something. Um, but you can go there. Let's go! It's almost like it's... um. It's if and or rules. So if sign says curved roads and roads are curved, then produce uh, the next part of the puzzle. Okie dokie, what have we got here? A basket of orange, orange fruit. Uh, orange, you're glad you saw some fruit. <laughs> Funny. Oh, we've got a next door neighbour as well. You made it. <laughs> I tried to get some shut eye, but Penelope kept farting. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't give it those rainy red devils? Anyway. <laughs> I want to introduce you to my father. He collects the plants from all over. Maybe you can help him find some new ones. He just threw the curtain over there. Hang on before we do. What have we got here? That's Dad's private notebook. Don't read it. Okie doke. Won't read. A curtain. Where might it lead? A jar with a sweet fruit scent emanating from within. It's going to be the honey stuff, maybe? Uh, a hearty... Hang on. A hearty hearth. Jazz just threw the curtain over there and then we'll it to this one. Can I not go through? Oh! I'm an idiot. There we go. Welcome. So, Mo tells me you've helped him find his sheep. My thanks, young sapling. Oh, don't be shy. Whoever comes to this grassland is our friend. My name is Monarcha. Uh, Monka the Mighty. A mighty fine plant collector, that is. Wow. <laughs> I regularly travel to the other grasslands with my buddies to research plants. We also exchange seeds with each other's tribes so they can grow every type of plant. We're always keeping an eye out for new species. Just yesterday we saw we discovered a new type of rose. Now if only we could come up with an any any other name for it. But enough about me, tell me about your grassland. Wait, don't say a word. But I can guess where you're from. I haven't seen a robe like that before. Did you come from across the ocean? The seaweed in your hair was a dead giveaway. <laughs> hmm, but which island? Don't tell me. I have an idea. Oh, Monka, you clever cactus. My notebook in the other room is a compendium of plants that I've encountered in my travels. Have a look at it and tell me if you recognise any plants from your hometown. From that, surely I can summarise where you hail from. Let's go! You got Dad's permission to read his notebook? Lucky! A thick notebook filled with handwritten notes about different plants. Dancing pines. They sway to the rhythms of the wind, sometimes sashaying to the adjacent forests. A sour potato, the only one can grow every square mile, having absorbed the, ancient, uh, the ambient sourness of all the surrounding plant life. False moss, not actually moss at all, but a carpet of pygmy grasshoppers. <laughs> goose, go uh, goose berries, they taste horrible. <laughs> and so, so more. Uh, is that it? Go go back and talk to him. So maybe, did you find my notebook? You didn't see any plants from your island in there. How is that possible? 
What exotic land have you travelled from? What manner of flora grows there? Such a curiosity you are. I can see why Mo brought you to me. Perhaps you can help me write with something. A unique plant grows in each grassland in ours, and ours is the mysterious ghost lily. It glows with the most beautiful light, but it has an inferal but it is as inferal as its name. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, you poor girl, you must be famished. Look at me, prattling about plants. Will you stay for dinner and bunk here for the night? We can save the plant for dinner time. The plant talk for dinner time. Or we can talk about, uh, not plants? Mo! Dad! Can you rustle up some dinner? Set the extra plate for our guests? Sure, Dad. In the meantime, can you do me a favour, young sapper? We ran out of glow leaf last night. I asked Ganja to fetch... Sorry, Ganga. <laughs> to fetch some from the forest. <laughs> I can see why. Oh, can you please go check on him? Oh, oh my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to get some air in the meantime. Uh, I can't be away from nature for too long. Uh, am I going out this door? Alright, so... It's night time, so we got... Maybe not. Where are we now? Hang on. We've just left this flat? What, what the... Did you find Ganga? He should be near the forest. So, okay, right. Something tells me... If we're here... Can I just put myself here? Or here? Or indeed here? Wait, wait. If the forest is going to be there, I don't have anything special on me. No, didn't choose you. Does that mean the forest? Hmm. He lives near the forest. Isn't that there in the forest? What a simmering cabbage soup. Healthy. And if I come out of here, then I'm back over here. How curious. Um... I'm supposed to go back to here, aren't I? Really? I am going to walk it because I might walk past some map, however. You crazy lady. Uh... I have a feeling it's not going to be like this. It's dark time, isn't it? Dark time? Night time. I'm always a bit sad when the class is over. Who love those kids? Even if they drive me nuts sometimes. Speaking of nuts, it should be time for dinner soon. I thought she was going to say it's lamb. <laughs> Hello? Look over here! I saw Uncle Gang go into these forest. Oh yeah, um... Kind of wondering... If it's just going to be two, two sets of trees next to each other. No road ahead. All right, so we don't actually use this part. Let's go and create a very small forest. This forest smells like Uncle Ganga. Uh, hello? Hmm. So. It 
it is what I thought it is. It's going to be a bit difficult to find. What I need to find, because I don't have the extra map, do I? If this is going to go... There we go. I thought I would need four. I was wrong. Oh, we we'll have to go up and around. What? Alright, two seconds. Let's just change this around, shall we? Oh, no, I can't. There we go. My pathfinding abilities are terrible. Aha! I finally found the head of the river. Uh, my, is it dead time already? Time flies when you're solving mysteries. I guess you should come, I should come to eat. But I can't wait to explore the river tomorrow. So I don't think these little ur urchins... Would you mind bringing them a glow leaf to, Mon to Monka for me? Thanks. Yay! Okay. Let's go. Let's go! Let's have a look, shall we? And he's going to be all the way up here. Yay! Ah! Some glow leaf! You must found some. You must have found Ganja. <laughs> That's his name now. Sorry. <laughs> this is what we used to eat. We used to let everyone know its name. Hang on. This is what we use to let everyone know that it's time for dinner. Oh, I bet you do. And with that, that's my hour up. Well, let me just finish off this conversation and, and then I'll, I'll summarise for you. It tastes like the riverbed but it has the most alluring aroma. Okay, so I'm not going to continue from here. Um, I'm just going to summarize what I think. It's fun. It's definitely a mobile game. Um, some of those puzzles, as you can see, I got a bit stuck. Oh, hello. What? Phew, I'm stuffed. Did you like my prairie pie? Looks like I should have been interacting with people. Um, yeah, some of the puzzles are a bit obtuse, uh, but only only because I didn't know the rules. Now I know the rules, well, some of the rules. Um, it does make a little bit more sense. Got to do a lot of reading. Got to take in what they say. I'm glad that there's not a lot to do when you're trying to do a puzzle, because if there was too much, I would have been overloaded with information. I would probably have been stuck there for like days, <laughs> and it would not have been a fun a first hour. Uh, well, we got here to the party anyway. I don't know how far into the game it is, and I've got one trophy so far. But yeah, it's a uh, fun, cute little game. Uh, quite funny as well. <laughs> Partly because I'm making it fun for myself, but you know. Uh, do I like the game? Would I recommend it? I do like it. I would recommend it if it's on a sale. Uh, so far. I mean, my mind might change, or my view might change once I've completed it, but uh, it seems like it's it's charming and probably not worth more than one playthrough so yeah that's where I'm at alright guys well thanks very much for watching I guess I'll see you next time All right cheers